That's a movie guy. Okay. So probably you're wondering where I've been. Apologies for the lack of content recently. I've actually been a bit busy. I've been working with Interfilm Wales and going around schools around North Wales, teaching them how to do film reviews. And it took quite a bit of my time. And there are various other projects on the horizon, which I will talk to you about at some point in time, but nothing is categorically sorted out just yet, so we're getting there. Go see Alita Battle Angel. I highly recommend it. I thought it was a very heartfelt, amazing CGI filled movie, and why people hate that film, they need to grow the hell up. But today we are going to talk about Hong Sang Su's latest film, Grass. Unfortunately, I do not have a UK release date for this film. I don't know when it's coming out. I've just been lucky enough to get a distribution screener for it because I'm growing very impatient of the Sang Su movies coming out. As you know, Hong Sang Su makes maybe two, three movies a year. He made, last year he had Grass and Hotel by the River, which Hotel by the River is still not released, and I'm still waiting for a screener for that. It's very, very frustrating. But if you go on to Huss's channel on A Touch of Film, he has reviewed both movies and they are very good reviews because it's his field. Hi Huss. The story of Grass follows Kim Min Hee. She is in a cafe in Korea and rather than interacting with her fellow guests at this cafe, she observes and listens to their conversations. That's kind of it. It's in a cafe and they talk. Grass is poetically calm with meditative cinematography. It is a very calm film and it's very different from your usual Sang Su's where a lot of the crazy dialogue and the wild zooms like pointless zooms like this happen all the time in this film. This is my face. Anyway, Sang Su goes a bit extreme sometimes with his zooming. This time round, he actually took his time with it. I think he really restrained himself in some ways and it kind of shocked me. I didn't necessarily expect such a tender film to come out of him. Each conversation feels like a part of a play. We go through maybe four, maybe five acts in this film within what, an hour and six minutes. This is the runtime of this film. And each segment builds and builds where you are fed small pieces of information about everybody's life. And we tackle various subjects of life, death, soju, art. It's just very engaging. And I think that's what kept me going with Grass. I just didn't necessarily think that Sang Su would make such a think piece like this. Like the last film, latest film I saw from him was On the Beach at Night Alone and I thought that was very messy, very muddled. I didn't really get the message of it. I got the message of this and had a massive craving to drink some soju after it, which I'm not complaining. I need to buy a bottle. The film ends up in a very powerful conversation between two of the characters. And this is the point where you see what Hong Sang Soo was going for and it is such a dramatic ending and a very powerful ending like I said if you can spare an hour and six minutes of your life then you can wait and find out what happens in this I honestly just couldn't believe what I was listening and what I was observing from the characters especially like some of the dialogue sometimes you can't really believe uh, the way that they deliver it's such a, a subtle way that they're doing it and the, the, sub the subject matter that they do deal with in some parts, you just can't believe that they're so calm about it. The most notable actress in this film is Kim Min Hee, and I must say, she's not really the focal point. Each character has his or her moment. Um, I think it's always important to have that star power within Sang Su's films, and obviously, I don't even know if Kim Min Hee is still going out with Hong Sang Su, but at the point when they were making this film, they were going out together. So obviously it helps him and it helps the film and it helps his artistry to build and all that stuff. But I really liked Kim Min Hee in most of her roles in Sang Soo films and just in general Korean cinema. But I didn't really think it was anything life changing or anything beneficial to like a watch list of her work. I, I just 
I just went on this ride and humanity reigns through grass. It is, it is very, it's pure life and I just, I just dug it a lot. It, it takes a lot of time, it takes a long time to absorb, to process this film and I think uh, down the road I'm going to have to revisit it again and it, it just, it, it's just different for Sang Su and that's what I enjoy the most about it. It's, it's not going to be for everyone. You know, I, I recommend these things to you on this channel, I'm not expecting you always to love what I suggest. But Grass is worth a go whenever it comes out. I think it comes out in America in April. So if you have an house cinema, you will probably get this film because it's going to be cheap for them to get in and everything. But yeah, Grass, check it out when you can. As I said, I'm not really sure how reviews are going to start coming out over the next couple of weeks. I'm very busy with PhD, with work with work and uh, more work <laughs> so I'm please bear with me I obviously will be watching Oscars and stuff so I'll be live tweeting so all my social medias below so please check it out obviously that's where you'll find out what I've been up to as well um, like I said a few more projects coming up which I'm very excited to do and share with you guys when everything's official because I don't want to look like a tit and uh, yeah like we normally say on the channel, the other thank you, obrigado, merci beaucoup, arigato, dankeschön, bitchin, all the shuns, obviously, never change.